Hi, this is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I work with batteries with my students. I'm a chemistry professor with a university in Western Pennsylvania. And uh, here's one that you could do at home or at school. And I'm actually interested in doing power output on this. Uh, what we have right now is an aluminum air battery. And I am using a rectangular sheet of graphite. You could use rods. I do too, but it, you want a flat battery in this uh, video. That's what we're trying to get. So if you go on eBay, you can get these rectangular sheets of graphite. They're reasonably priced, um, among other places, but I get them on eBay. And uh, what you do is wrap it up in paper towel, put a rubber band around it to hold it in place. So make sure you uh, have it covered. Leave a little bit at the top. Can you see it here? for uh, attaching uh, electrodes and uh, put a rubber band on as I said to hold it in place this ordinary paper towel then what I do is I wrap around it uh, an insulator a little better than paper towel go to the dollar store you can find this type of mat it's probably a polyurethane it holds up really well cut a section out wrap it around the paper towel and the graphite put a rubber band on it don't use aluminum foil. Uh, the battery will last much longer if you use an aluminum pie pan or tray, a little thicker uh, aluminum, and that's what I use. Cut a section out and wrap it around real tight. Let's see if you can see it in there. Wrap that section of aluminum real tight around the uh, insulator. And uh, don't forget to put get a nail and put some holes in that aluminum. Get plenty of holes in there because you got to get air in for reaction at the uh, at the uh, cathode, which is the graphite aluminum air battery. Now, here is the important thing: the electrolyte. What am I using? I'm using soda wash, sodium carbonate, and uh, we're not going to be exactly scientific here, but I've got about 80 milliliters of water. Put in about two tablespoons of soda wash. You can use soda, you know, soda wash is sodium carbonate. Not bicarb, sodium carbonate. Or potassium carbonate, which I have at school. And uh, it's very soluble, goes right in. And that's it. Now that soda wash is going to produce a certain amount of hydroxide. And that's what's going to react with the aluminum as part of the electrochemistry here. And you'll have a longer lifetime with that pie crust pan and uh, simply slip it in for now to the electrolyte and I got a hefty 1.68 volts and boy I 1.71 is about the max you're going to get with 10% sodium hydroxide never let the aluminum come in contact with concentrated aqueous sodium hydroxide it will react violently and a lot of people will use 10% sodium hydroxide but I would worry about evaporation, thus increasing the concentration of the sodium hydroxide in the electrolyte. Go with soda, sodium carbonate here or potassium carbonate. Now, I have it hooked up to my alternative jewel thief. That is taken from a solar garden solar cell, and uh, I pop out the nickel cad battery. I have a video on that. Uh, alternative jewel thief from a garden solar cell. And uh, this is a little smaller white LED than what's normally used with the Jewel Thief. There are videos on how to make the Jewel Thief. You can buy one from a guy in Greece on eBay for about $5.50 postpaid USD. And that works fine too. But I get these at Walmart. I have a video on it. And just pop out the screws and pull out the unit. I'll show you the back of it. Pull out the nickel cad rechargeable and just attach your uh, electrodes to it. And this alternative jewel thief I have found from experience will continue to stay lit until you get down to around 0 0.52 to 0 0.55 volts. 
So it's a very nice load to put on the battery to show it works. And you can let this run. And I'll be me measuring uh, power output and hook it up to a vernier board for voltage, current, performance. And uh, by having it open, you get that oxygen in there. I didn't use any manganese dioxide. And uh, in future videos, I'm going to use some uh, uh, sheets of uh, carbon filter. I'll experiment with that. But this is a really nice unit to set up. Forget about recharging it because you'll be putting in way too much energy to recharge uh, this aluminum air battery. M uh, not going to be efficient at all. But this should run for quite a bit of time and maybe you want to try your hand at it and see how it works. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.